Hi everyone, so you know how NVIDIA for whatever reason decided to block the 30 series on for Windows 8 and 8.1? They like hard blocked it for Windows, even with the Windows 7 driver. But some people over at the Guru 3D forum ma managed to make a modded driver. I guess modding the NVL DDMKM.SYS driver. They did use like a hex editor, but I tried it and on a test hard drive and it works. So I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to put all the links in the description. And they're talking about Windows 8.1, but... In my case, and probably a select few other people, I prefer 8.0, and I checked the IN. I actually extracted the EXE, because they used the NV clean install, and I checked the INF, and because it wasn't working for me initially in 8.0. And um, apparently, for whatever reason, they added the, I, the uh, 30 series cards to the 6.3 section, in the NV DISPI.INF, but not 6.2. So for those of you like me who want to use 8.0, which probably isn't many, but for those those of you who do, you would have to use that. You know the the because I'm gonna be uploading the stuff to archive every archive.org, and I'll put the link in the description for it, but. You're gonna you for the for those of you who want 8.0, you would have to use that particular zip file because and manually install it because and yeah and also and I tried an 8.1 too, the stock 8.1 install, the exe uh setup exe won't work maybe because of missing updates or something, so you have to manually install it using uh the display uh device manager so and then also again same thing with the control panel it looks like the control panel should be there but like in the set in the extracted file somewhere but you guys might have I haven't I've had it work but not with uh that went for both 8 and 8.1 but there was no control panel so I'll have to see if I can get that working, but at least the driver works and the 3D acceleration works. I have my second monitor here. Again, this is a completely clean install, so. Okay, without further ado, let's let's get started. So, okay, for starters, the first thing you're gonna need to do to install this, I'm gonna go to this drive. You need to install this uh, root certificate update and go to here um, I'll just say local yeah local machine this is what exactly what I was doing automatically just leave it automatically finish and the import was successful and then restart the computer so alright back at the desktop now what we're gonna do um, before the thing is though, before we can install it, we have to, we have to go to re, you know, we have to click over here, power, restart, but before you click restart, um, you have to, um, just give me one second guys, but what you have to do, you have to hold down shift and then click restart and then we go to this screen, troubleshoot, uh, advanced options, startup settings, and and now I know what you might you guys might be thinking. It's no, you you don't have to do this uh, test signing mode thing permanently. It's just from my experience, it's just to install the driver because if you don't, then it'll complain about the tampering and stuff so you have to do this just to install the driver press 7 <laughs> and then you shouldn't need to after okay so I'm gonna log in and then we're gonna
go here to the D DVD drive, new folder. I have 7-zip already installed, so uh, let's see here. Video. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, so that this one here is the all original that I got on um, Guru 3D or 3D Guru, and then there's the root certificate, and then um, there's the zip, the one that where I added um, the 8.0 stuff. That's the new folder. That's you know the way it was when I. I forgot to rename the folder, but now I just got to wait for it to extract to the desktop. So, okay, it just extracted. So we can go ahead, close out of that, and then we're going to go to Device Manager. Um, okay. And then go to Display Adapters. Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, we'll go to the driver, update driver, browse my computer, and then we have to go here because, here, I'll show you. If we go to uh, automatically find it, we'll go to the display driver, it'll come up with, it, it won't find the driver, but if we, that's why we have to go, let me pick, have disk, Browse, and then we'll go to that new folder, go to NVDISP, D-I-S-P-I. There's a 3090 Ti. Of course, if we uncheck it, there's several other 30, 30 series models. But if we, that's all we care about is 3090 Ti. And then, and then we just give it a minute to, so yeah, see, there's the, can't verify thing um, and then we got to give it a minute just to install and will you look at that it works perfectly fine no errors and we'll even uh and then we'll reboot I'll just show you guys that you don't need uh, the disable the signature enforcement at once it's installed I'll just reboot, and I won't even cut this part just to prove to you guys I'm not, you know, lying about this. But of course, it'll. T I have a 990 Pro, so it's not gonna take. It it loads 8.0 loads super quick. I mean, I'm I'm dual booting with 2008 R2, but maybe if it's stable enough, I might just. Um, yeah. See. I might just use Windows 8 exclusively, so, but yeah, we want Windows 8, and, yeah, of course, this issue happens in 8.0, which I'll have to figure out with the lock screen, but, yeah, I'm just going to log in really quick, and there we go, look how beautiful that looks, both monitors are working, again, I don't have, currently have the control panel, but, which I'll have to try and figure out, but, Now I'll I'll just really quickly I'll download a couple things like GPUZ and I'll show you guys that it comes up correctly. Anyways, guys, yeah. So yeah, C thirty ninety Ti. Um, there's all that. So, yeah, it seems to work fine. And I may even really quickly just show you guys a quick something that's actually, you know, 3D, that uses 3D. I mean, obviously, 8 doesn't have arrows, so I'll show you guys, like, Furmark. So anyways, guys, as you can see, I got Firefox and uh, Furmark installed, and we'll take a look at Furmark. Um, see RTX 3090 Ti. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, well, 
here, I'm just going to run full screen. I'll do the full 3840 by 1080 of my monitor, 3040, 1080. Anti-aliasing, we'll do that. Um, let's do it. And look at that, guys. This is Windows 8, mind you. Eight point, not even 8.1. This is 8.0. Next step is um, I've been seeing a lot of DirectX 11 um, or DirectX 12 stuff about 8.1, 8 8 but not. Much, I haven't tested it on 8.0, so I'll have to try that but it would be pretty sweet if it would work on 8.0 because again between the two it's kind of it's a very rare opinion but I think 8 maybe it's because it's got way fewer updates but I find 8 to be really fast I was just installing it on my 990 Pro and um, it installed for the most part, when it was expanding files, it was going at like 4% at a time, which is, you know, I was installing it from this external hard drive, and it was flying through. It was going really quick. See, and one more thing. Let's go to uh, CPU-Z. <clears throat> no. But yeah, there you go. 5.4 gigahertz. That's my... Performance cores and then my efficiency ones 4.2 and there you go Windows 8 Enterprise 64 bit DirectX 11 because this is obviously a clean install and RTX 3090 Ti So guys, I think that's pretty much it for now, but I just wanted to I know I've been seeing a lot of people saying how do I get 30 series on um, 8.1 or whatever or 8 or 8.1 and I think it's ridiculous that you know Nvidia should be ashamed of themselves that they would purposely just block there is no reason the 7 driver can't work on 8 I mean I like 7 also but I mean I'll I'm willing to daily drive this if it's if it's stable I may even ditch my 2008 R2 and just use this full time other than the the horrible user interface and if I really couldn't get used to it I could just use uh, some start menu I could use that start menu you know there's some software to restore the start menu start button so but I like 8 more than 8.1 and and it's more optimized probably than 7 for SSDs, so... But I'm not going to Windows 10 or 11. I still haven't changed my mind on that. So, I hope you guys find this video useful. You know, obviously I wasn't the one that modded the dri this driver. Well, other than that, adding the... The INF... The, six, the INF entries to six, the 6.2 section, but... That's really, that's nothing compared to modding the actual SYS files, so. I'm gonna, yeah, this is all gonna be in the description, whatever you have to download. And we're in the Geeks 3D website. So, thank you all for watching and enjoy your non- spyware bloatware operating system